it's time to heat things up in here. For our final tropical drink of the month, we're looking at one of the key elements of summer, heat. And I'm bringing the heat in the hottest way possible with lava. But first, I gotta cool my head off with a victory shot. El Dorado, 15 year. Mmm, mmm. <clears throat> Kiana, talk about drinking the Kool-Aid. The lava flow is a staple amongst Hawaiian cocktails, but it's hard to pin back exactly when it was first mixed. That doesn't matter though. Just like with real lava, it doesn't matter when it starts flowing. You need to start running regardless. You could mix this drink with one blender, but to help with my sanity and the fact that Goodwill has cheap prices, we're gonna use two blenders. We are gonna use six to eight whole strawberries and toss those straight in the blender and two ounces of rum. But first, we have to have ourselves a shot. Today's rum will be a El Dorado, a beautiful mixing rum. Damn, that's good. And now for the second blender, we're gonna start with two ounces of coconut cream. Two ounces of pineapple juice. One ounce of rum. But nah, we don't need ourselves a shot this time. And now we're gonna get this whole banana up in here. Although I've never been to Hawaii, I've got friends who have. They spent all that money on lava flows and they enjoyed them. And I'm going to mix one so much cheaper than them. Blend the shit out of it. And that is called a pre blend. And then we add a cup of ice to each blender. You talk about a fuck up. And pour both concoctions at the same time. And add a pineapple strawberry garnish. And that's a lava flow. Today's word of wisdom is tools. You should never take on a job without first acquiring the correct tool set. If 80% of success is just showing up, then the next 15% is having the right tools. I would really say only 5% actually has to do with real talent. Hear me out. If you were gonna take down a tree, you would need a sharp chainsaw. You will succeed a hell of a lot faster than you would do if you showed up with nothing but a can-do attitude or Say you're sitting on the john. You'll be back out with your buds a lot quicker if you have access to TP. Quite a bit faster than if you had no more than a will to push through. And the same applies to bartending. You can make your little problem seem a heck of a lot classier if you have the correct tools. Without a nice bar and a cool glass, 
you're just a drunk guy passed out in the front line. But with the right tools, you're a sophisticated debonair with an eye for the finer things in life. So no matter your next adventure, make sure you have the tools to succeed. That way, the people will think you know what you're doing. Now we want to add a cup of ice to it. I forgot that part. I know that's going to be my new... <laughs>